Of course, springtime well underway when we all look at the calendar here, almost mid April. But cooler temperatures, though, are really actually slowing the start of the growing mm, season. They sure are. Coin Six meteorologist Josh Kozar takes a closer look at how the chilly spring temperatures have impacted the Portland Japanese Garden's cherry blossoms. I'm feeling really cold right now. Spring has finally sprung here in the Portland Japanese gardens, despite cooler than average temperatures and yes, even a few snow flurries earlier in the week. But that's not stopping the blooms from putting on a show. That patience uh, has paid off and they're rewarding us uh, with a vision of uh, pink and white. And it's really beautiful. I like it. Colder spring temperatures have delayed the blooming process in Portland this year, but as April moves forward, higher elevations are now seeing signs of spring. We do have a different blooming schedule than the rest of Portland, so typically we follow the waterfront park, for instance. Uh, this year, relative to our own experiences, it was a couple weeks later, uh, our gardeners uh, indicated that it was likely due to uh, the kind of late winter snowstorm that we had at the end of February. But now that the trees are in bloom, the clock is ticking. Blooms don't last for too long, so it's about a week, maybe two. Um, so we highly recommend that if people want to come see the cherry blossoms, they arrange their visit really soon. But it looks so pretty. I wish I could see some more. <laughs> Now, warmer temperatures are on the horizon as soon as this weekend, sending the blossoms even deeper into bloom. Reporting in the Portland Japanese Garden, meteorologist Josh Kozark, Coin6 News.